Hi there, I am Anton and today I'm going to be showing you how to get extremely quick precision kills to upgrade your Crimson Catalyst. It seems like a simple enough masterwork, all you need to do is get precision kills, but you have to get quite a lot of them. So what type of enemies can you kill that do not flinch or don't jump around? Well thankfully enough, I have the best video on YouTube to do this for you. So if you stay tuned, I'll show you exactly how to do this. The first step to this is heading towards Mars and going to the Futurescape landing zone. This is to the north and you'll be able to easily spot it because there's only two locations. As soon as you land, you're going to head immediately to your right and activate the escalation protocol. You may ask, why are we doing this? That is because the very first two waves are entirely full and they die extremely quickly to the Crimson. You will take some damage as two full will spawn behind you and do damage. This doesn't really matter because with the precision kills, you restore magazine and regular kills regain health. To avoid this, I move far enough back behind the bridge, making the AI realize that I am outside the event area, and they will move closer towards the tower to try and flank you. This allows you to then push forwards and kill them as they are retreating, and allowing them to jump back down in a big blob that allows you to gun them down fairly quickly. By this time, the second wave should have spawned in, and you can just repeat this process, and those two thrall from the second wave will come up behind you. Once you have cleared out this entire wave, you'll be able to fast travel back to Futurescape, loading into a new instance and being able to repeat this process as I will show in just a moment. It is an extremely quick and efficient way of doing this as all the enemies, even though they are technically highlight level because I think they're about 380, they're thrall and they die very, very quickly. So as soon as we load back in, we're going to activate another one of these towers and repeat the process. In this one, the enemies do line up a bit more because... As I try to sit close to the wall, the thrall jump down and come at you straight in a line once they've kind of backed up a little bit. This makes it very, very, very easy to just keep your reticle in one place and just gun them down. You'll be able to tell when you've got the precision kills and if you are continuously getting them as you'll hear the magazine for the crimson reload and make that little click sound. As you can see, I'm gunning them down as they retreat and I'm just getting bulk kills here. As they are very low light level and easily killed, it's a lot better than doing the callus farming by going to the raid, which I've seen some people do. I personally think my video is better because it is, and I'm stubborn about it. So as you'll notice, I triggered the third wave. This is bad because the acolytes spawn in behind you and one in front of you, they are very high light level, so you die pretty quick. Basically, all you gotta do is repeat this process for the desired amount of times and get as many kills as you want until you get to the area where you can actually get enough kills to unlock your Crimson Catalyst. This is the best guard on video on YouTube for it. I hope you guys leave a like just because I'm a small channel and it actually does make me feel better than seeing like the people with lots of subs get it just for really shitty content. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that and please stay tuned because I'll try and do more guides for masterwork weapons, especially the exotics, and I'll try and find my own guides for them that are even faster than other things. Before I go, I'm going to leave you some pointers to make this farming even more efficient. If you get into an area that is populated with a lot of human players, just fast travel to another instance. If you activate the tower, people may actually think you're trying to do it, and since no one's really a high light level in this game at the moment, it's pretty much better just to avoid it in general. The only other point is when you're doing a public event, try and complete it quickly or fast travel to a one that has already been completed as that prevents you from activating the tower. Thank you for your time. My name is Anton and goodbye.